What's up guys? Welcome back to Mike's Universe. So today we're going to talk about Star vs. The Forces of Evil. Sadly, the show returns all the way in 2019, and we've only gotten one trailer and that's about it. I really hope this season is everything, because it is the very last season, confirmed by the show producer way back in May. It reads, I'm staying at Disney production, but Star is ending, so I'm moving on to a new show called Owl House. I also have a project in development, but there's no clear timeline for that, so... I'm very sad to see this show go because it was indeed a good one. We still have a lot left in the season, like Finding Queen Moon, Marco's Moon Cheeks, and Eclipsa. There's a whole bunch evolving Eclipsa, from Meteor to Globglore. Speaking of which, I do not believe Globglore is evil. We all know that Mewins don't really give monsters a chance to prove they are not evil. They already assume it, and through watching the show, we know that in Mewin history, monsters weren't the first to attack. Mewins were and they had more weapons and people in their army. There was never a reason to attack, humans just felt like monsters would hurt them because of the way they looked. Also, when it came to Eclipse's love choice, she was even seen as evil, the queen of Mewin at the time. That goes to show that Mewins have poor judgment when it comes to monsters and if they are evil or not. They also misjudged Eclipse because she used dark magic. Although she used it, it doesn't exactly make her evil. Seeing all of this makes me believe that they could be totally wrong about Globgore as well. Because of his size and him being a monster, they probably assumed he was evil and crystallized him just like they did Eclipsa. The High Magic Commission did it without even getting to know Eclipsa. I am actually very excited to see what happens when he is released, now that him and Eclipsa can finally live happily ever after. They might even take back the kingdom. Well guys, that's all for today. What do you guys think? Is Globgore truly evil, and how do you guys feel about Eclipsa retaking the throne? Comment your thoughts below. If you're new here and enjoying our content, go ahead and like and subscribe. And click that bell notification to stay tuned into our universe. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time.